we've just returned from our probably our fifth plant rescue and this is where uh, researchers or collectors uh, really focus in their whole lives on one or two genera of plants and then when they get old or uh, unfortunately sometimes after they pass away we go in and try to rescue those collections because those genetics are you know many cases represent uh, you know 50 years plus of collecting in this case we were fortunate to rescue the collection from uh, Gerald Smith Gerald was a professor he's retired now at High Point University and Gerald was one of the authorities on publishing uh, rain lilies. Uh, that's the genus Hebranthus and Zephyranthes primarily. He worked with the gentleman Ray Flagg. Ray was the former president of Carolina Biological Supply. And both of them together were the recipients of all these wild collected materials from uh, plant explorers throughout, uh, primarily through Mexico, a little bit through the southeast and southwest U.S. And Gerald has had responsibility for this collection for almost 50 years. And uh, he's now uh, getting to that age that he can no longer take care of the collections. And so they were gifted to us. So we've spent all day yesterday going up and bagging. So this, what we call 750 different accessions. That means each accession has a number. So in this case, you would see this is S28-1. So each one has a number, represents a different collection. Where was it from? Where did it originate? This one from this mountain, this one from this mountain. And then we go back into the master code book and we put tags on all of these. A lot of, a lot of people who collect bulbs love to do them in codes. And that just adds a whole extra layer of work for us to now sort those out. So we've just finished. Uh, we gathered them yesterday. Now we've just finished about two hours of sorting out the codes. Now, uh, Zach, our plant taxonomist and plant record specialist, will sit down with the code book and start going through each of these and determining, is it something that has value? And then we have to look at, is it a seedling? Because in rain lilies, they seed prolifically, many of them. And some come true, some don't. So we have to then pot them up and then wait. Many, it may take us three to four years to go through them and see which ones are actually the true original collections and which ones are sealing. So there's a lot involved with this. We feel very strongly that many of these genetics you could not get anymore. If you wanted to go back today to collect rain lilies in Mexico, good luck. You'd probably never make it. It's a very, uh, unfortunately, a dangerous place now. So these genetics are really important for future researchers uh, to be able to work with. And so we've now been gifted the task of holding on to that collection until we expire and then Hopefully it will be uh, held in perpetuity uh, uh, if our endowment gets full by the university. So uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work, but it's a project we feel very strongly about.